The pandemic is forcing all of us to find different ways to stay connected with family and friends as we practice social distancing. And that's made even tougher for those who are in isolation. As 13 on your side, Lake Shore reporter Noah Fromson explains, one Holland family is finding unique ways to pass the time together. Outside, we can chat from a distance. But people in assisted living homes, like Maple Woods, can you hear me? Yeah. Are stuck with an online connection. That's not all we can do anymore. You it's how Joan Buck stays in touch with her daughter Elaine while she waits to have an elective surgery. So we're in a holding pattern right now, which is a little frustrating because now we really can't do anything with the whole coronavirus. And as the restrictions ramped up, residents can still go outside and get sunshine, but they can't have guests. Out came the table. I brought it a little over a week ago. And a creative daughter looking for any way to see mom. Did she look at your leg again? The conversation so, isn't uh, much different. They had ribs on sale at Meyer. Oh! But through the window, they're able to pass the time. May I see a piece? Like a mother and daughter might at home. I don't know. I see it's a lot of pieces. Acting just like a mother and daughter would. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have her out here. She's always coming up with fun ideas doing things. It makes you appreciate being able to see each other in person a lot more. But Elaine will settle for meeting through the glass. It's a tough one. There's a lot of detail on that. Coaching mom yeah. through puzzles. Hey, mom. I got it. As long as she has to. <laughs> I'll see you a little bit later. Noah Fromson. Sure. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> All right. See ya. 13 on your side.